Okay, and we have a special guest here with us. Uh, we got Mr. Gene Triplett on the line with us, and he'll have opportunity to talk about, give us an important message about some parts that often get overlooked on the brake system uh, when you're either doing a brake uh, job yourself uh, or if you're having someone do the brake work for you, many times these items get overlooked. And we have Gene Triplett, Vice President of Engineering and Quality of International Brake Industries, and International Brake Industries started doing business in 1967, and they are the number one aftermarket supplier of brake hardware in North America, including the Carlson Brake brand of brake hardware. And, Gene, I would like to welcome you to the CNC Auto Show. Aaron, thank you very much. Uh, good morning. Well, good morning to you. I so <laughs> much appreciate you being here with us. Very nice of you. And I've thought about this many times. There's... Uh, uh, the brake hardware is so important to a beautiful job. So I'll start out by asking you, when, when people think of replacing the brakes, they only think of the pads and the rotors. It, but I don't think that's the whole picture, is it? No, no, Aaron, it's not. And, um, you know, the, the braking system is a very important part of the vehicle. It, you know, it keeps the individual safe and it keeps the vehicle safe. And every single time that you put uh, press that uh, brake pedal, you're putting heat and friction back into the system. And over time, you're wearing that, uh, that braking system out. So av av the average person is looking at the pads and the rotors, and it's very obvious that they need to be replaced or they're, they've been um, used up over time. But what isn't so obvious is the brake hardware. And the brake hardware is actually, with all that friction and heat that's going in the system, it is also wearing um, right along with those pads and rotors. And so it is highly recommended to keep the vehicle um, running as close to OEM quality is to replace not only the pads and the rotors, but also to replace that hardware. Yeah, and, and I agree 100% as a person who has been in a, exposed to a shop for uh, many, many years. Now, there was a time that where you would do brake jobs, it wasn't uncommon to see at 20, 30,000 miles, you, you would need a complete brake job, and the springs may would stay in fairly good shape. But now brakes, they, they're, they have so much more heat than they had before. The cars are more powerful, brake components smaller, lighter. And, uh, and, and so uh, because of things like that and the brake, you want the brake system to last a long, long time now. Uh, before you have to do your next brake job, so many times that brake, those brake hardwares are they get weak before it's time for the next one. What parts do you feel? Uh, what parts make up the brake hardware, and how do they work with the pads and rotors? So there's, um, you know, there's two different types of uh, braking systems, right? There's the disc brakes, and then you have the drum brakes. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking at disc brakes. Um, you know, it's not only those little clips that the pads ride on, but also you've got bushings and pin boots and guide pins are all part of uh, making that caliper and uh, uh, the system work properly. If you're talking about drum brakes, um, you know, they're the, the springs and the pins. So all of those are very critical in the activity of, of running the brakes and how they interact is very important. So for example, if a guide pen is reused and it gets rusty or it, uh, it gets damaged in any way, you're going to see um, a potential of uneven wear on your, on your pads or even uh, premature wear on those pads. And that's, I mean, that's, that's not a good thing. I mean, this is an inexpensive addition to the brake job to put out, to replace all that hardware. And you've gone out and spent um, considerable amount of money for your, your pads and your rotors. You want to not have them prematurely wear as you, uh, as you go through the life of the vehicle, you want them to last as long as you possibly can. So you don't have to do another brake job anytime soon. Yes. And, and Gene, I, I, as a person who is in the shop, a, a large amount of time, uh, I, I see technicians that they'll have a, a person to bring a car in for a brake noise and they'll look through the wheel and they'll see the front pad and it'll look real good. And I know that if that slide pin sticks, then that front pad could look perfect and the inside pad could be worn completely out. 
So I tell them, let's pull the wheels because it might need slide pins also or the slide pins may be sticking. So I, that, I've seen that many, many times, and that's one of the reasons I, rec- I tell the technician, pull the wheels off if they've got a brake noise. By the way, I, I appreciate you being here with us today because I think this will be helpful to a lot of people. We get a lot of, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of people that enjoy working on their own vehicle, so this will be great information for them. But we also have a lot of professional technicians that listen to this and uh, definitely it'll make a difference with them also. What can happen if you install new pads and rotors without replacing the brake hardware? Well, Aaron, um, you know, when you look at uh, the brake hardware itself, uh, a lot of times, like the clips in the brake hardware, are um, they're stainless steel, so they're going to look good, Mm -hmm. but you do need to replace them, as you you stated, and, um, you know, they're out of spec. And so what happens there is that after a period of time, that first brake job, when you're replacing your rotors and your pads, those hardwares need to be replaced because if they're out of spec, you could get noise, you could get premature wear, um, or, or even um, uh, uneven wear to those pads. So it, it, all of those things, all of that hardware may look good. Um, it is designed to do that. It's it's designed to last the you know the length of that first job, but it really does need to be replaced. We've done enough studies to show that um, many of those items are out of spec and uh, require to be replaced to to continue to allow the vehicle to run as close to OE level as possible. And, and Gene, that's one of the reasons we recommend brake hardware on a regular basis because as a as a professional automotive shop. You don't want to have to do the job twice because <laughs> you uh, yeah. you don't come out good on that. Uh, Jim, pur- uh, purchasing all the parts that make up the hardware can be a, a tedious task, but Carlson has just introduced something new. Uh, tell us about the brake job completion kit. Well, depending upon your application or your vehicle, uh, you know, you could, to get all of the proper hardware, it could be anywhere from two different kits all the way up to five different kits. And those, um, those kits are, are, are ranged, you know, you, when you go to the store to buy them, you may miss something. Not everybody knows all of the kits that you need. So what we've done with Carlson completion kit, break job completion kit, is we put all of those kits into one box. So if you know your application, you go out and you look for it on our, the, to purchase it, when you receive that box, you're going to get all of those, you know, that two kits or the five kits, depending upon your application. We also threw in a, some sandpaper, uh, some brake cleaner and grease and a shop rag. So you, now you have everything in one box that uh, to do the whole entire job. You won't need to do anything else. It should be uh, taken care of right there for you. Well, Gene, for the professional automotive repair facilities that means they save a lot of time having to do uh do things as far as um making a lot of phone calls tracking down these parts individually and in uh, and of course time is money to a professional automotive repair shop and for a person who might be doing a brake job at home and really wants to do the good quality job it'll save about uh, probably four or five trips to the parts place to pick up all of these individually or having to wait days on something to come in uh, that they might need. So I, I think that is a, that is so wonderful to have everything all in one kit. Uh, where can listeners go for more information on where they can purchase the cross and brake job completion kit? So you can purchase the kit um, on Amazon. Uh, as well as uh, you can go to www.carlsonqualitybrakeparts.com. We have a list of all of the applications and and vehicles out there, but um, we are also adding kits all the time. So if, for for example, if you can't find the the kit that works for your application, send a note in. Uh, We can help you tell tell you what those, uh, you know, how many kits that you need to buy and give you some direction there. But it also identifies to us what we may need to add uh, uh, soon. So we um, will we'll continue to add. We're going to continue to expand this um, uh, offering out there for the uh, the population and, and see where it goes. So. Gene, uh, one thing that we had, we had a, um, a contest here not too long ago. I think it was about two or three weeks back. And it was the person they had to uh, make the uh, make the most accurate break noise <laughs> that they could make. 
<laughs> and uh, squealing noise. I'm talking about when, when their brakes are making a squealing noise. Now, if, if, if a large number of people would do the complete uh, hardware and, like you mentioned, the slide pins and all the things that need to be done, uh, there would be very few squeak noises because that it, that's pretty much what the squeak is, is either weak hardware or, or springs or something in, in that area causing the problem. So uh, having that hardware can be great. I am so glad uh, that uh, there's a, a product like this on the market so that we're able to uh, get everything at one time. Because like I mentioned, uh, time is money when we're working on vehicles. And Gene, I want to say thank you so much for joining us uh, on, the, on the CNC Auto Show. And I know that the information that you've given will help a lot of people and uh, a lot of people will have they'll have better, longer-lasting breaks, and we appreciate it very much. 